This is our, um, I'm making meatballs. This is um, Italian sausage and um, red meat, ground, ground round. And, and what we're gonna be adding into it today is gonna be garlic, basil, onion, and uh, breadcrumbs and their Italian seasoning. Uh, meatballs and you can use them for your spaghetti or um, whatever you'd like but we're going to make these for meatball sandwiches and today I'm going to show you what I use for my ingredients so um, I have used Italian pork sausage and I used some ground round and we're going to mix those two together now I'm also going to add a couple more ingredients which I've already shown so we're going to add, this will be about a cup of, let's say about a half cup to a cup of onions. It depends on how much you want. The onions create the moisture inside the meat so it doesn't dry out. So I'm going to add about a cup of onions, chopped up. Then I'm going to add some ground up chopped garlic. And this is about... A quarter cup to a half, depending on how much you like garlic. Then we have probably about a tablespoon of basil added because it already has Italian seasoning from the sausage. So it's already got that Italian um, seasonings and so forth. I don't want it too leafy. You get too much seasoning in there. It's going to taste more like leaves and bits and pieces of a leaf and I don't want that. So. And the basil always gives that extra blend and always can helps out. All right, so this is about a cup of Italian seasoning of breadcrumbs. Again, we've got some more Italian seasonings, the reason why we're not adding too many more ingredients of seasoning wise. So I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna leave a little bit in my cup. I'm just gonna make sure that this is not gonna be um, too dry. And as you can see, it's blending up really nice, and you just fold it in with your hands. A nice, good mix. Mix it all in thoroughly with your hands and kind of roll it in there. This is one of my favorites, and my husband's and the kids. I like to add this with a nice, sweet um, Italian sauce, a spaghetti sauce. I quit making spaghetti sauce because the stores offer so many different versions. Oops. Okay. I'm going to add the rest of my breadcrumbs in there just because of the texture. I want it to be a little bit more where I can firm it. I just want to add the rest of that. I'm not just going to fold it in. I'm going to mix it in real well because it'll get a, a pocket in the center where it's just the breadcrumbs will be at. And I don't want a big puff of dryness inside a meatball. So we're gonna make sure it's all mixed up really well. Don't be afraid of it, it'll be fine. Okay, feels really good and mixed. Now I'm gonna use a tablespoon, I'm gonna show you why, to make my meatballs. So I'm gonna scoop it and I'm gonna kind of form it around the tablespoon. The reason is, is because I want the form of everything to be in a same uh, uniform meatball. And the reason is, is because I want everything to cook at the same pace, at the same time, for all the heat and everything to be done um, with the meatballs at, at a good pace. 
and um, to be cooked thorough, all the way through. Basically make them all about the same. We don't want them too big or too small. If it's too small, then they'll, they'll burn. And they don't have to be exactly on the spoon, but close to it so that you can have a nice, uniformed meatballs. And this will feed quite a few people. And we love to do the um, meatball sandwiches with a little pavlone and a nice little bread. A good sandwich. If you don't want to put the onions in it, don't. The only reason we put them in is for the moisture again, so that way they don't dry out. Smells good. No, because I'm going to put them in a crock pot later, so I'm just browning them for now. So just let them kind of simmer and keep turning them around a little bit. Are you going to want to eat the rest of for lunch? Maybe. Well, I need to make sure you get a couple of these up all the way through. Okay, so as you can see, we kind of just keep turning them until they're all golden brown. Okay, as you can see, the um, meatballs are um, pretty much done. They are all golden and nice and brown on every side. So what we're going to do from here is, is that my pan will go in the oven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour spaghetti sauce over the top. Now I will tell you, you can do this in the crock pot, but I'm using the oven tonight. And that's all I'm going to do is just pour the sauce over it. I get it mixed up in here a little bit. Everything's coated. And then I'm going to bake this for, um, right now it's on 350, so we're just going to bake this for a good 30, 
30 minutes on 350 and we're good to go.